All right, guys, so world's going crazy, and mm -hmm. you guys, I know, Bart and Joe, your number one fear is the world getting crazier by having looting and rioting. Violence, right? yeah. Mm. I feel like you guys have both that as a fear and a dream. Today. Yes, I'm you're right. right. Hey, that's true. How do you yeah. know me so well? Yeah. How do you so know? right? Well, dude. Percentage-wise, how much of it do you want it to happen versus not happen? <laughs> I'm curious now. I think realistically, I don't want it to happen at all, but romantically, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I want it to happen a lot. Yeah, so romantic. Yes. <laughs> huh? I want to seem like a badass. You know, you see, we watch these movies. You're like, what's the closest I could get to that, right? <laughs> Going on being crazy or like having zombies happen, or like looters and stuff, or having to protect yourself. Realistically. It's not gonna be a pretty sight, dude. Like just watching war footage and what it really is, like, like a real war footage, not movies. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad because in the movies, it's it's like adults and bad guys and good guys. In real life, it's families, it's old people, it's yeah. everybody on the streets, and that's people shit's you know. Scary. Yeah, and that I I don't really fantasize about. I think I'm thinking of a movie Rambo kind of guy, you know? Like I'm on the roof and there's these bad guy looters coming in. You have like infinity bullets. Infinity bullets. <laughs> you have no shirt yeah. on. <laughs> and it's like you know, like like there's like bad guy like war gangs that come into villages and then they'll like kill all the guys, rape the girls, steal all the food, like that kind of shit used to happen, right? But like. Uh, or it does still happen in certain countries or whatever, and then I'm the fucking good guy with a machine gun on my Jeep, and I'm just fucking mowing these bad guys down. Yeah. So it's justified killing because, you, you know, they're bad guys, right? I don't know. So if this happens, I'll bring the Jeep, you guys bring the guns, and then I'll pull down the top. Yeah! Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. That sounds we'll fun. We'll run around town, <laughs> and we're just da -da 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 -da, bad guys. <laughs> and then we have to restore order in the chaos. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's funny you say uh, you talk about restoring order because in Rome, I like Rome. It started happening. Right. Oh, and shit. looting. Oh, damn. Oh. It started happening. Police are calling for order now. They're like, hey, you, we got to stop the violence. So we they're gotta... coming out and what are they looting? Food? Uh, yeah, they're breaking into clothes shops oh. and stuff, shoplifting, just taking stuff. I don't know if they're going into people's homes yet, but I think they're going into stores right now. Just don't touch the supplies. old shit. Don't old touch shit. Trevi Fountain or the Coliseum. Yeah, I haven't Ooh. seen it yet. Yeah, don't touch any of that old dope shit. Oh, that's true. Cause we gotta go visit it. Yeah, the new shit, it sucks, but go over there. Yeah, <laughs> just, just go to the Ferrari, the Lamborghini, yeah. go, yeah. Go to those luxury stores, the fucking, they have fashion, you know, all those clothes. Just go take those shoes and stuff. We can never have that here, cause I feel like people here are like, they'll go tag it up, they'll do stupid stuff, and it's like, they don't understand that you're not supposed to do that. They'll be like, this is art that I'm adding to the piece, you know? Oh, true, mm. true. I sure, I've never been to like the Lincoln Memorial or whatever. Is it, have you guys been there? Is it like tagged up? No way. There's a shit ton of security. Yeah, there's government much. city. Yeah. They're gonna, you're gonna get sniped. There's so much security. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's crazy. Yeah. They're fucking doing that right now? Now, since it's Rome, we're in Italy. Guess who the law enforcement think is behind the rioting? America? Nope. China? <laughs> nope. A much more dangerous. The mafia. The mafia. Whoa. What? They think the mafia it's is coming out and 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 getting uh like uh, uh, basically serving civil disobedience, starting the riots, and then there is a rumor, and this is like the the I guess the police force in Rome and their intelligence, they're thinking they're doing this so that they the mafia can come back out. And come out as a savior at the end. Whoa! Oh. So they're trying to take over the government. They, they're trying to take over the government. Oh. They want to restore order, when restoring the order that they're actually destroying themselves right now. When did wow. this turn into conspiracy coin? Happen! Oh. What happened? <laughs> wow! Unexpected. That's yeah. smart, though. That's if that's I, true. I forgot about the mafia. Yeah. Because when I think they're of it, well out there. Yeah. There are. I think so. I mean, they're, they're literally they're they're saying the mafia might be behind the the unrest, and now they're coming back out. And then now the the idea is that they're all gonna offer loans to people as well. Oh. So loan shit. sharking people that need money in a time of crisis. That makes a lot of and sense. That shit is nuts to me. 
Because like, if they can't pay, like, this is not the kind of loan that we're trying to apply for here in the States. <laughs> this is like, don't break your legs. Don't like, break yeah. your leg loan, yeah. I feel bad for Italy. They're be they have two criminal organizations, the Catholic Church and the Mafia. <laughs> 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 what are they going to do? <laughs> two big-ass or criminal organizations, man. Damn. I was listening to the news today, and there are smaller countries in Africa right now that are starting to lock down, so people can't go to work. But then, so what people are doing as a result because they can't go to work is that they're protesting and, and rioting in big groups of numbers. And I'm like, that's defeating the purpose of the lockdown. Guys. Wait, where? In uh, like a lot of smaller countries in Africa right now because it, it's starting to hit them a lot harder now. Mm -hmm. So the governments are finally like implementing a lockdown where people can't go to work. But as You're gonna a result, get sick. people are protesting in big groups oh. because they can't go to work. They're, so they're, they're like, like, let us work, let yeah, us yeah, work. There was one guy today, he was saying, um, yeah, I don't want to wait in lines to get food. I'd rather just be working. Damn. But then, so as a result, they're protesting in larger numbers. Which so maybe like they're not the educating their public well enough, like. I have a, so I have a coworker uh, that was mentioning <laughs> this, that was mentioning this to me like about two months ago. Um, or no, no, about like a month ago when we were starting to go into quarantine. And she was like, yo guys, like I've been on black Twitter and like shit's going wild on that. Black thing. Twitter? Black Twitter. I mean, it's just, uh, it's. It's Twitter for black, black people? Twitter is a big part of, big, big part of like culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. So like there's like some wild theories and one of the theories is like, cause at that time, um, Africa wasn't hit or anything like that, right? And so they're like, yo man, why are black people like not getting infected? And then black people are like, what are you trying to say? And then like there's theories where it's just like, oh, you know, um, because black people have like a high melanin mm -hmm. count, yeah. that like they're not affected. What about Cambodians? <laughs> yeah, so I was just like- <laughs> And Indian. That's a very interesting theory. Right. about the numbers as of this week though? Mm -mm. So in, in all the states and cities that have like, let's say 18% uh, black people, the death rate is like 50, 60 percent black people out of the people in the hospital who are in the So 50 percent? So, yeah, because the black uh, population is actually getting hit yeah, now. We're actually going to talk yeah. about that today. It's so. harder because of like their diabetes and stuff like that, which is higher in black population. Oh man, that yeah. sucks, dude. Yeah, because the the whole Rona's is that if you have a pre-existing condition, yes, it like it way yeah, worse. It, it's like asthma if you're a smoker or whatever. That's me. Damn, <laughs> yeah. dude. Lung conditions and heart conditions are the big two. Yeah, you gotta watch out. That's the one thing that I was scared of. I want to get tested, dude. I think I had it, man. I, I don't want to get tested, too. Just wait till after. I mean, oh, yeah, that's true. Because what if I get it at the hospital getting tested? Because well, yeah, that's what's happening to a lot of people, yeah. dude. Because then I saw like how they're <laughs> testing people. So they literally had, like, uh, say at Dodger Stadium, right? They had a long-ass line, right? And they'll have someone literally stick that, like, the long Q-tip into the back of people's throats. Uh, and then it makes you... Get a swab. Some people say they were crying because it hurt oh. from how far it went in. Right? But then, can I just pee in a cup or something? I don't know. This yeah, can they just yeah. take your blood or something? Or no, it's a respiratory, so it needs to be mucus. Yeah, they need the mucus, right? So then they'll do that. They'll take that and put that in there. But you see everyone that will do it, they'll like cough because it, it itches, right? Yeah. And then you see that happening, right? Then the doctor puts that in, and then they use another one, right? So they go, they, but then I'm like... They're not teaching the glove or whatever. There's the same glove that you think. I'm, I'm like, yeah. I wouldn't want to go there because you could just be... Infecting, yeah. they're, they're not switching gloves every time, they're not doing all that stuff, yeah. they're constantly meeting. They're like a preacher at communion fucking giving little... Yeah, so it's like, even then, like, you yeah. can go get tested, but you're fine, and then you actually get it. Yeah, a lot of hospitals are starting to change their rules, because before, the nurse had to be the one that did it for you, because you know, they yeah. needed to do it correctly. But the problem is that, every time they did that, all of their stuff would get ruined, uh. and they, they would need new supplies. So now they're starting to let people do it themselves. They're like, here's the Q-tips. Okay, now put it in your nose. So that way they can save their own supplies. Higher. More? <laughs> More? Yeah. Oh. They're giving them instruction from a well, distance now. Literally, so they go uh, now through the, I think the, the mouth, right? Uh, this is the mouth or the nose? Uh, both. A lot of but they go, so it's like, yeah, yeah, butthole can't cough, yeah, yeah. but they can fart, they can fart. Yeah. <laughs> but it's uh, it goes, so it's like the, the throat, and then there's like a part behind it that they go in there. Ugh, That's why it. it hurts because it goes all the way in the back, but uh, like. They're saying if you don't feel symptoms, just stay at home. Or if you do feel sick, don't go until like it gets really bad. But the mystery is getting to me. <laughs> Whether you have it or not, that's the hard part because you want to know if you have it. Or I want to know if I already had it. So like, uh, when was the last Vegas JK trip we went on? Was it in 2019? The last one? Yeah, that yeah, was last year. So oh. last year, so my, so I didn't get sick when everyone got sick last year in December, mm -hmm. but I got really sick on the last JK trip, the one where uh, I was only out for that one night to play craps, and I actually had to go to the urgent care, and I had pneumonia. Is that the one where you had like the IV bag? Yeah, I had the IV bag, I went to the urgent care, they had to put me on a respirator. I think that's just sick. 
The Ronas was way after that though. Yeah, so I thought, so for me, I'm like, I don't know, maybe I caught the really first wave. <laughs> I, haven't got, I haven't gotten sick. Your Chinese yeah, DNA Chinese. got activated. <laughs> yeah, because I never got that sick yeah. like, ever in my life where like, because I was literally in bed and my, it felt like I was breathing out of a straw and I was telling Gio, I'm like, fuck, I need to see a doctor now because I really feel like I'm going to die. And she's like, shut up. I'm like, I'm like, how often do I complain about shit? She goes, that's true. So, <laughs> so I, I even called the, um, I was looking online where they, because in, in Vegas, anything can happen, right? You can get doctors to come to room so I found this ad where this guy will come and visit me for 500 bucks I'm like fuck it I feel like I'm gonna die so I called him and then he was like oh it's gonna be a thousand and I'm like what the fuck I thought you could, it's just 500 he goes well it's 3 a.m. I'm like fuck it I'm too Chinese for this shit <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'd rather die than pay a thousand. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Yes, yeah, so I, I rolled over and then I went to urgent care and then so they said I had pneumonia I got a chest x-ray um, So that was the worst that I ever had it. So I'm hoping that if I went through that Maybe I, I am immune to it now because I have antibodies if I did catch it. But I don't know if that's the Rona's, man. And you were so close yeah. to us at but the, the time, we would have We would have had it too. Oh. Yeah. But I, I think that... But then that goes again if everyone, uh, if like the first wave, why didn't everyone get sick? And why were there like a lot of people dying back then also? Like the first wave when they're saying when we got hit in California. Oh, because it wasn't a spike, it was a curve. A lot of people are also dying because of the lack of attention and help and ventilators and equipment. Mm. So then that's what they're doing right now is flattening the curve, right? So what one of the theories is we did this uh, 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 the other day, but California is not getting hit as much as it's supposed to because we slowly got it around last fall. And then it was kind of dispersed throughout the population. So a lot of us might have the uh, antibodies for it. Wait, in the fall time? I thought it was more well known in December in China. That's, that's what doctors well are known. saying uh, that uh, around fall in December. Yeah. Uh, around like like early winter. Because 8,000 Chinese come into LA daily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Which is like, like three, four million mm -hmm. in the West Coast alone a year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And a lot from Wuhan too, so. That's what that's what one of the theories is is that we're not getting hit when we should. There's only like 300 something deaths, and we're supposed to be seeing our peak, but we're not, and people are just waiting for it. I want to get tested. Yeah, I do too. I just want to see because yeah, I had too. some crazy coughs, and then if I did, I could be like, "Ha! I got it from a white guy." <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Reverse. Uh, corona. <laughs> You're like, I got it from a white guy. I wanted to get tested because I feel like you can start helping out once you, if you find out you already oh, have yeah, it. Yeah, can't you get it again yeah. though? What? No, no, yeah, oh, yeah, the big thing is that body. because yeah. right now people are donating pl blood plasma if you already had it yeah. to help people who are currently have it. So I'm like, oh, I want to help out. If I oh, you're going to give it. blood? If I had it. If you had immunity. But, yeah. but if but I didn't have it. I'll give money but no blood. <laughs> okay. I get too tired.